Hello all, Dan from DroneBlog.com here. In today's video, we'll go over step by step how to power on and off the Mini 4 Pro and the remote controllers, whether these be the DJI RC2 or RCN2. Feel free to use the chapters to skip to the areas of the walkthrough that pertain to you. Like most of its drones, DJI has a recommended power-up sequence for the Mini 4 Pro, although many owners power on the Mini 4 Pro in whatever order they'd like. The DJI recommended sequence is to turn on the remote controller first, followed by turning on the Mini 4 Pro, and lastly, opening the DJI Fly app. Now, if you own a DJI RC2, then the steps for turning on and off the controller and the DJI Fly app are just one all-inclusive step. First, we'll talk about powering on the DJI RC2. Press the power button once, then immediately press and hold the power button. The DJI splash screen will appear at boot up. As the RC2 turns on, you'll get an ascending audible tone indicating that the controller is powering on. After about 10 to 20 seconds, you'll be at the DJI Fly home screen, ready to connect the drone. Now we'll talk about powering on the DJI RCN2. Like with the RC2, press the power button once, then immediately press and hold the power button. When you press the power button the first time, the battery charge will be displayed via the green LED lights. The second press and hold then powers on the remote controller. And like the RC2, when turning on the RCN2, you'll get an ascending audible tone indicating that the controller is powered on. Now here's something to note. Many phones, once connected to the RCN2 controller, will turn the screen on once the controller powers on, followed by a dialog box asking to launch the DJI Fly app. You can choose to launch the DJI Fly app at this time. Now we'll look at powering on the Mini 4 Pro. It's important for you to remove the gimbal cover that is on the camera. If this step is forgotten too many times, the gimbal may eventually suffer from gimbal overload, failure, and break because of the gimbal self-test. Now press the power button once, which of course is towards the rear of the Mini 4 Pro. Similar to the two remote controller versions, the LEDs on the Mini 4 Pro will light up, letting you know how much battery power there is. Now press and hold the power button. The motors will adjust slightly, followed by an auditory tone, after which the gimbal will self-test. Start up the DJI Fly app if you're using the RCN2 and the DJI Fly app did not self-start when the controller powered on, as mentioned earlier. We'll look at turning off the Mini 4 Pro and the RCs. And like with the power on sequence, DJI also has a recommended order for shutting off the Mini 4 Pro and remote controllers. This sequence is to first turn off the Mini 4 Pro, followed by turning off either the RCN2 or DJI RC2 controller, and if using an RCN2, shutting down the DJI Fly app. So to turn off the Mini 4 Pro, press the power button once, then immediately press and hold the power button. The Mini 4 Pro LED indicator lights will count down, flash, and then shut off. The LED lights on the arms and legs will shut off as well. To turn off the DJI RC2, press the power button once, then immediately press and hold the power button. You'll hear a descending audible tone indicating that the RC is powering off. The DJI Fly app will likewise shut down at this time. And to turn off the RCN2, again, press the power button once, then immediately press and hold the power button. you hear a descending audible tone indicating that the RC is powering off. After the RCN2 is powered off, then you can choose to exit the DJI Fly app. That's all for this video. If you have specific questions about this or our other videos, we'd love for you to join us at DronePilots.com. For more tutorials and reviews, head to DroneBlog.com.